Hi everyone, this is Jeffrey Wang. Um, I'm here at this sim called Eagle Island. Um, basically, this is a sim run by the USDA and other food inspection agencies around the world in joint collaboration with various universities to educate the public on Second Life in detailed animated steps about how chickens are processed from the farm to dinner table um, for everyone to consume and this shows you the process of how to keep chickens safe for consumption. Um, you have locations like the micro lab, the virtual chicken amphitheater, virtual chicken museum, whole bird processing, LOI hall, egg processing, and a place called a dog house. Um, we're only going to check out a few of the accessible locations that are accessible to the public so let's check them out. Here's the micro lab and here in the micro lab you can take a look at different types of uh, bacteria that uh, affect chickens and you can learn about them such as a Listeria monocytogenes or cytogenes, Salmonella enteroiditis, Campylobacter jejuni, and of course the most famous bacteria that has been known to cause a foodborne illness is E. coli or Escheria, Escheria coli. I'm not sure. Uh, Escherichia. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just call it E. coli. But uh, for those of you who are more academic and want proper names being said, we're just going to say the word E. coli. All right. So this laboratory simulates the types of laboratories that scientists and food inspectors um, will use to determine whether a food is safe to consume or whether the food supply has been contaminated. Um, and of course a good example here would be this recall and alerts poster. Um, these are based on real life recalls. Um, if you want to see more recent recalls you can uh, come to this uh, sim and they'll have more recent recalls being posted. But these are the latest recalls as of uh, right now massive recalls involving chicken they're listed right over here so this sim also helps to educate the public about recalls in case people miss them on the news and recalls mean that the food is being sent back to the factory because the food is too dangerous to consume or has been mislabeled or some other goof up occurred along the process with the food Um, here's some more cool tools you'll see. Um, if you're wondering why are these windowed boxes here, these are lab testing windows. Basically, you place a sample of whatever you're testing inside of the boxes so they do not get contaminated from outside air. And there's a possibility that whatever you're testing could be very dangerous and can contaminate the environment. So you want to make sure it is isolated <coughs> for its uh, integrity and for making sure the public is not exposed to anything dangerous. Um, basically, this is a very good way to learn about um, USD inspection in case anybody's interested in going into that um, academic field about food safety. We're now in the chicken processing room. So basically, this tells you how they uh, humanely, um, let's say, take care of the chicken and what are the different steps such as uh, defeathering the chickens they call it scalding because they use uh, hot water to uh, wash the dead chicken of its feathers and its skin and these machines here have various tasks such as removing the fat um, the different uh, parts or whatever that are undesirable or can be used in other uh, culinary forms especially related to chickens such as harvesting giblets or the gizzard which are considered delicacies in some cuisines around the world and of course the final step of inspection making sure that everything is done the way that things are supposed to be done so the chicken is not contaminated and people don't get sick uh, refer back to the lab that we were just in to understand how uh, serious a contamination can be we are now in the egg processing facility. Of course, you know, the other product that poultry emit other than their meat is 
or I should say is in the form of an egg or eggs. Um, this would be like what a typical loading dock at an egg facility would look like. So after all the eggs are completed, they would be sent to this little part of the factory and loaded onto trucks. However, let's go and see the conveyor belt to see how eggs are transferred and cleaned. So when eggs are received from the factory, actually these are eggs actually being um, sent in from the farm, I guess. Oh well, the most important part is this upcoming part, which is the conveyor belt. Now along the conveyor belt, um, basically they remove the eggs from the pallets, put them on the belts, and they send them down the conveyor line. As I go through this passageway, you'll see that these conveyor lines go through these uh, showers that wash cleaning solutions onto the egg to disinfect the egg. And finally down here, they use a process called candling where a bright line is shown underneath the egg to, real, to uh, reveal if the egg has any defects. <clears throat> So now we're in the, one of the rooms that shows what happens here. So this is a room where breaker grade eggs are moved onto the breaking machine where a small mechanical arm breaks the egg and both the white and the yolk are removed for further processing. The shells are then taken elsewhere to be ground in a tiny piece for use as fertilizer or other products. Now this is one part where some of the eggs go. Um, this is where the unprocessed liquid egg goes. And I believe this is the final step. As you can see, I'm kind of new to this museum, so I'm kind of lost. So I do apologize about that. But yeah, those are the two important things about how eggs give us protein. Well, I should say how poultry give us pro protein. They give us protein in the form of uh, eggs and meat. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tour, and I hope you come out and check out this uh, landmark, and check out this sim for yourself. Another way to learn more about handling poultry is going to the USDA website or uh, contacting your local officials to see what information they have about agriculture. Anyway, this is Jeffrey Huang signing out. See you folks later. Peace out.